All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about building a bridge without popsicle sticks. So if you uh, don't have popsicle sticks at home or you don't have the ability to, to grab some, one alternative is going to be building one out of a piece of cardboard. So here I've got an Amazon lid or an Amazon box rather. And cardboard is actually what we call cardboard is really called corrugated board because of the corrugations that you can see. And you might notice triangles. Um, repeating over and over again miniature trusses all the way throughout the cardboard and that's what makes it so strong you may have also noticed that cardboard is stronger one direction compared to the other or more uh, stronger one way than the other so if I take it this way I can't really bend it easily if I turn it this way with those corrugations I can easily bend it right so you might want to think about that as you're designing your bridge and cutting out cardboard to use so what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna cut some strips that are about the width of a popsicle stick, maybe a little bit more, maybe about a half an inch. And you can take a ruler or a straight edge and draw yourself a line along the edge that is about a half an inch. Like that. Or you might wanna try cutting them with the corrugations, depending on how you're using them. Um, I'll let that experiment up to you. And an adult, not you, but an adult could help a whole bunch by using a box cutter to cut this. Not you, but an adult. So with adult help, you could do it that way. So I'm just going to use what I know you all can get a hold of, which is a pair of scissors. We're going to use this as the lower cord. Whether you're building it out of wood or cardboard, marking the uh, area you want to cut with a pencil is critical. So we're going to cut that like that. And then taping it into place is also very important. So I'm going to get it exactly where we want it. And then I'm going to use some tape to temporarily hold it down to our design or our drawing like that. And of course, we're gonna need some more pieces for the top. So I'm gonna cut this at an angle. I'll just lay out that angle like that. And then we've got the sides here. I'm gonna lay, that, lay it where I want it, and then I take my pencil across here to follow this line, to try to get an, an exact angle there. Come down here to the bottom and do the same thing. And then I take my scissors and cut. Now, if you have a hot glue gun, carefully, with the hot glue gun, glue it in place. I'm gonna put some glue there, put some glue here, glue it in place, and just hold it there until it dries or cools. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you could use some Elmer's glue. Some white glue, this is wood glue, but it'll work just the same. Uh, Elmer's white glue would work, a little dot of glue. It's a little bit more messy and it, um, Obviously it does not dry as fast, and I should have marked this before I put glue there. That's all right. So something like this, like that, and then we can glue it in place. And if you don't have either of those, but you're able to find some glue stick, um, you could use that as well. And I'm gonna just do this center piece now. Again, I'm gonna mark exactly where I wanna cut it. Like that. Take this piece. And again, if you don't have any other option, let's try some um, glue stick. And we'll let you know how strong it is. Something like that. To work on the angles, um, accuracy really helps with strength here. 
So instead of me just gluing it on like that, I'm going to cut it at the angle that matches this vertical piece like that. And if I do the same practice down here of following the edge of the beam or the cord, that should help me get a nice straight cut aligned where I need it to be. Something like that. And then we'll try the glue stick again. Put some glue in that area, some glue up here. You can see that that glue is not dry yet. And I don't know how well this is gonna work. This would be my, my last resort would be a glue stick. But we'll give it a shot and we'll try. Looks like my angle's off a little bit there. There we go. And that is how you can work to construct one side of your bridge. I built another side earlier. So your goal is to have two matching sides. And then we're going to work on standing it up and building a bridge out of it. So that's how you can do it out of cardboard with a hot glue gun, with Elmer's white glue, with wood glue, or possibly with a glue stick. I'll let you know. We'll see how well that works. It may, it may not work at all or it might be okay. Stay tuned.